Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. Bogue RV sent over a 180 watt 12 volt solar panel for me to test out here on the channel. And so I'm also going to be using the Bogue RV MPPT solar charge controller. I bought this to test out some of my hydro stuff with, and it's really designed for solar. Um, so we're going to be using these two together, and I've got yeah, 12 brand new batteries that I was going to use for hydro but it's fall and it's just too cold to be standing in water all day. So we'll be using uh, this panel and this charge controller to just charge these up enough to be stored over the winter time. So let's open this box and see what it's all about. It's kind of cloudy today, but I think uh, there's gonna be a break long enough to at least get a good voltage out of this panel. Hopefully we'll see it high enough to get a good charge on those There we have it. Let's take a close up look at this panel real quick. So I have the panel out of the box here. There seems to be some kind of film on there, probably from the manufacturing. So definitely worth cleaning that off. It also has that protective wrap around the edge that would need to be removed. So there's your Bogue RV logo. Let's turn this around so we can get to the specs here. Okay, this is the model number DSM 180 watt. Peak power, 180 watts. It's a 19.54 volt maximum voltage, or VMP. The open circuit voltage, 23.84 volts. Maximum current, 9.21 amps. Short circuit current is 9.57 amps. And the dimensions of this panel are 1,480 millimeters times 670 millimeters times 35. So there is a negative sign here and a positive sign here. And then you've got your positive indicator here on the positive wire. Oh, it's also right here on the MC4 connector, which is nice. And then so this one's got the negative and it also has the negative on the MC4 connector. Uh, the length of those looks like it's about three foot. So that should give us plenty of room to work with here. All right. So for mounting holes, it's got one, two, three on each side. So you can adjust how you mount based on those. Everything seems to have come through shipping just fine. I think it's time for us to go ahead and get these connected and uh, see how well it charges a 12 volt battery. For the sake of this video, I just have the panel propped up a little bit on some cardboard to get into the sun. I think it's doing pretty good. Let's see what this panel reads here on the multimeter. So let's take that and put it over here onto our leads. I've got a couple of MC4 connectors here. I'm just going to use to test this out with. All right, I've got 22.52. I've seen 22.55, definitely enough to charge a battery. Okay, with the Bogue RV charge controller, I'm going to connect the battery up first here. So we've got the positive over here. A positive wire, I wanna go over here to battery positive. Oh yeah, this uh, unit here, the Bogue RV MPPT charge controller has this external screen that goes into the COM port here. Okay, here is the negative of the battery. Okay, looks like this thing is at 12.4 volts. I know it's kind of hard to see with this uh, screen here, but 12.4 uh, volt on the battery. So let's go ahead and plug up the solar panel. I've got my uh, positive here and negative here. Let's go negative on this. 
and then positive make sure yep over here okay the light is blinking here showing that there is input from the solar and I can click this let's see here We've got 16.5 volts coming in from solar right now. 1.59 amps. And it says 22 watts coming in. So we'll wait for the solar or for the we'll wait for the sun to come back out and we'll see what this value goes up to. I'm looking at the cloud situation. We may not get much better than this today. Uh, 25 watts. I don't know how well you can see that or not. There we go, 25 watts. Perhaps one of the reasons we're not seeing a higher wattage is because we've got 14.4 volts already on this battery. So the, uh, this is 14.3 on here. So if you move over here, 22.8, 1.67 amps, 14.3, uh, 25 watts going in. So uh, let me see if one of these other batteries has less of a charge and maybe we'll get a higher reading here on the power output. I checked and all of my batteries are already at 12.5 so I've got this little cheap inverter. Let's go ahead and do a uh, little pull off this battery. So this little inverter is going to use somewhere around I think it's uh, seven or eight watts and then this light right here is going to pull about 30 so that should give us enough of a pull off of here to see what's going on. All right. Light is on, inverter's running. So let's see what's coming here. All right, nice, now we have 70 watts coming in. Maybe I can get that clear enough for you to see. Yeah, 70 watts now coming in from the panel. Let's browse through here and see what we got. So 31, oh, that's temperature. Okay, 14.3 still on the battery. So of course there's a lot more potential in this panel than this light is pulling. Uh, 21.8 volt, 4.63 amps coming in, and 14.3, uh, yeah. So 71 watts coming in off of this panel. I don't know what else I've got I can plug up to uh, pull more. Let me find something. Okay, this will do it. I've got a 200 watt LED panel. Let's flip that on. Yeah, that's bright. Okay, let me see what's coming in here. 145 watts now. That's a lot better. Okay, let me bring you up a little closer here. 145, 146. And my angle's not totally perfect into the sun here. There you go, 161. For a 180 watt panel, 161 is not bad. Well, that's not bad here on this panel, 162 watts, and it's not perfectly lined up into the sun, so definitely could do a little bit higher than that. I like it. So uh, this is a product review, just a quick overview. I'll probably use this again here, either on the tiny house or somewhere, not sure yet, but um, there you go. This is the Bogue RV 180 watt solar panel and it's designed for a 12 volt system in this current configuration. I'm gonna step out of the sun. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video. I'm gonna hook up the rest of the batteries one by one and make sure they're all fully charged so I can store them so that next spring I can do more micro hydro testing. But in the meantime, this panel seems to work just as advertised. And also, it's got that film on there probably could clean that off too and have a little bit more watts coming out of it but i think it did a pretty good job if you want to check out the bogue rv solar panel or the bogue rv mppt charge controller i have links to both of those down below the solar panel was sent to me as a free review the charge controller i purchased with my own money um, just so i am open and honest with where these things came from all right thanks for watching I'll have these batteries charged up so that we can do more testing with hydro in the spring. All right, bye.